All right, load me up. No, not that, the packages. Oh. The last of today's packages. Today's How many? Okay. Yes, that's the last for today, babe. Here you go. On our way to UPS or USPS, I don't know, one of the PS. We're gonna shout a couple of these out. Frankie out in Cranston, Rhode Island. You wanna shout, shout who do you got over there? I got Omar from Chicago. W. Omar. Nolan out in uh, Delano, California. I didn't even know that's a place in town. All the way from Illinois, Elvis. Elvis. Shout outs to Brian out in Columbus, Ohio. My doll. I mess with Ohio. Who you got over there? Frankie out in Cranston. And Tessa out in Bellowit. Bellowit. Bellow it. Bellow it. Shout out to you, girl. <laughs> I think that's where it's at. Sorry if you butchered that. All right, let's go drop this off. Let's go make some delivery. Package delivered. Another set of orders coming out to you guys. Appreciate everybody that is ordering and supporting. I really do appreciate and love all you guys. Val and I are being adventurous today. I don't know where this is at. From my hood. But <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Highland Park, but they made a whole bunch of new mom and pop shops and they really modernized everything or like hipsterized everything. All right, well, we're getting pizza. Wow, that's good. Mm. How is it? Oh, it was good. Yeah. You already ate? I went to the bathroom, bro. Oh my god. My stomach was on 10. I drank some coffee this morning. It was all bad. It was all bad. When we wear our hoods over our heads and do this, we're called circles. You're just a circle. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. So if we were in GTA, how many stars do you think I'd get if I was to hit him? <gasps> I'm not I'm not saying I would. I'm saying if I was to accidentally you know <laughs> how many stars would I get? I think like that. I think that, everyone has those intrusive thoughts. Like if I was to jump out the car right now and these two ladies right here. I have to smack the shit. Those dark thoughts. Try it. I'm just having dark thoughts. Just try it. Slap somebody right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which one are you taking? Whether Jet oh they just put this nigga oh no, he, he good. Jalen Brown finished the score and Jet uh Kyle Sexton finished the score. Put a little thousand on it. Jalen Brown? So I put a thousand or five hundred. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jalen Brown been hitting his shit. He only had one day he ain't hit it. They going against Miami, nigga. I would take Colin Sexton on fantasy score more. Uh, Go I, look. I don't like Brock this personally. I just feel like these niggas are the best of the best basketball players in the world, bro. Let's see what it do what it do today. Now speaking of prize picks, earlier this morning I actually got not one, but two boxes from Prize Picks. These are the picks that I decided to go with. Hopefully they hit. But yeah, right now Prize Picks will match 100% of your deposit up to $100 if you use my promo code Chino. All right, the link down below in the description. I'm gonna open this up and see what we got. Ooh, what is this? Daily Fantasy Sports Made Easy. <laughs> oh, the front's hard. It's cool. This is actually a nice shirt. Got the Prize Picks P in the front. What else we got? We got another shirt. Little hoodie. Hopefully this brings me good luck, so when I rock it, I hit my picks. And then they sent me a little prize picks hat. Thank you guys. Shout out to the team over at Prize Picks. Jack, see you bro. All right, now this big box. Let's see what this is. Val's favorite part. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's good. Rajili. Regal. Hey, tough man. Prize Picks Neon Sign. I'm gonna put that right there next to the Wolfgang one that you got. But yeah, man, appreciate the little swag. I love Prize Picks, man. I love sports. And if you love sports, you should download the app too, man. Shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring today's video, bro. Daily fantasy sports made easy. <laughs> Came back home after lunch, watched the, some basketball. And now we're gonna go link up with Aries TT, Brittany, Wuop. We're gonna go do some bowling, man. I like the relaxed fit. What sweats are those? Of course, 715, the best of the best. Those are custom brown 715 stack sweats. I didn't do the brown ones because I thought more people would be more inclined to buy the black and gray, but I, I really like the color of this brown because look, it's like mocha with the chocolate on the bottom and some white on the inside. But yeah, those ones currently are exclusive to us. I'll do more drops. I'm gonna I'm gonna try, do my best. I, I realize that a lot of it is going 
pretty fat a lot faster than i thought it was i thought i bought enough and apparently it wasn't enough it's just depleting each day so if you haven't put an order in yet make sure you guys go cop 715 over at wolfgangent.co 715 also by the way is not wolfgang merch i have two there's two lines to this right one side is just wolfgang which is like the youtube side and 715 is more of my um like clothing line clothing line all right guys it's raining we rented out this little private bowling thing it's just gonna be us man no public entry private only just us and they're in here cleaning might run in a little bit of copyright what are you playing Pokemon Go. Yes, sir. Look at that. Nobody in here, man. Just us. Oh, copyright. This is a little small ass alley, though. It's pretty cool, though. Why do you. Did you cut your facial hair off? No. Would never do that. So, why do you look like that? You look like a burnt. look like a pancake that's only burnt at the bottom. <laughs> There's two frames, each person gets two throws. Okay. Alright, so you put the first number here, second number there. Alright? All right. And then if you get a strike, you just put an X and then you go into the next frame. Right. A strike means you get 10 extra points. Okay. Don't okay. Own score, yeah, this is the oldest bowling alley in LA. So oh. I'm gonna be cheating, just letting y'all know. I'm gonna put all X. All X's all the way. Wow. That's all I care about. This is hella old school, man. It's actually kind of dope, though. But we have to literally write down everyone's points. Okay. Who I've got uh, zero and eight. I already know. I'm watching. Zero, eight? Hey. All right. How many are you knocking down? Hawking head, Larry? All of them. All of them. All right, let's see. It's that guy from Call of Duty's fault. It's in my head. All I hear is. Yeah. <laughs> say it, bro. Can't even say. Look at Devonta. I didn't even look at it. That's crazy. I'm going to bug Brittany. <laughs> Hey mom, can you get me some food? That's why you guys don't do drugs, kids. You are too big to be doing all that. Come on, man. <laughs> don't do drugs. I don't want to show off or nothing, but I'm like the greatest of all time. I actually went to three colleges, uh, learned how to bowl from the greatest. His name was uh, Russell Wilson. He was an amazing bowler, RIP. No, he and wasn't. Taught me everything I know, man. You never were taught bowling by no one. You just picked up the ball and threw it. Back in 1984. You weren't even here. You weren't even a thought. This is what I do. I have like a ritual. You know how like a Bond James and all that? You all that? This is my ritual. I go like this. I bring the ball here. And then I put it up. I, I scratch my nose. Ball here, watch. Like, look at look at the pose. Look at the, look at the ritual. Look at the ritual. Ready? It's the ritual. Come on, man. Go. Damn. So close. Well, tried. You'll see the next one. Watch. That's actually an easy clear. I'm gonna clear all that. That's why I, I do that. I do that in my sleep. <clears throat> I do it in my sleep. I don't want to embarrass anybody. That's. That was so. Cool. I almost had it. That was wild. My math was wrong. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, come here, close it, close it. 
I'm gonna help you throw it, okay? No, I can do it. We're gonna do it together. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand right here, you put yours up here, and we go to. We I got it, it, I got I it, I got it. I got it. I, I, I love help you. you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. You're gonna make me lose. Come on, let go, let go, like this. Hand on top. My arm Destroyed my score. And my lip, my mustache is missing. <laughs> clean it up, clean it up! <laughs> be a hundred right here if you clear it out. Hundred dollars? Hundred if you clear this out. Bet. Like Aries came in first at 83 points. I came in second with 77. TT in third with 74. Right. $100 gift card if you get a strike. I have to get it on this next one. Yeah, this next one. Lock in. It's okay. Easy peasy, man. This ain't nothing. <laughs> you didn't hit nothing. <laughs> that, that, that was for the video. That was for the video. It don't count, right? All right. All right. If Aries gets a strike on this next one, hundred dollars gift card to you. Make sure it's Apple though, so I can get some stuff on Pokemon Go. All right. All right. I won't let you down. I won't let you down. Hey, it's a bumper. <laughs> that one don't count. It's a bumper. Yeah, it's a bump. No, no, come on. Cut that part out, Gino. <laughs> no! If, if it's only one pin left, he get, a, he get one more try to hit that pin. And if it works, then I'll get the money. He let you down. How about this? If I hit it, if I clean it up with this, you're going to have $10,000. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done bowling. We're heading out. So, back home from bowling. You guys know that I do these videos where, like, asking my homies to borrow money or telling my friends I got beat up. And I like these kind of scenarios, like, seeing where my friends' heads are at. Like, asking them if I could borrow their most expensive prized possessions. So one thing that kind of came across my mind is what would my friends say to me if I were to cheat? Now I'm only gonna call Dub just cause I know everybody's really super busy right now. It's like Grammy weekend and like a lot of my friends are involved in like the music industry and all that stuff. Mine is Dub. I'm gonna just ask him plus, you know, I miss my bro, man. I ain't seen him since shit, 2022, bro. I feel like I haven't kicked it with Dub in a minute. So I'm gonna ask him and this is just like a sample. If you guys do like this, then I'll ask you know, everybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of curious what he would say. <laughs> Don't cheat though, by the way. I'm just curious to see what they would say. Yo. Yo. What'd you want? Jim. Uh, um, you got a second? Yeah. Uh, I, was, uh, I just want your, <coughs> want your advice. What's up? Yeah. Uh, so you know how the, the other night I was out and I said I was at dinner. Huh? You know how the other night I said I was out and I was at dinner? Yeah. I was, but I wasn't with Valentine. I was with another girl. All right, what happened? I ended up cheating. I took her back so to, huh? I said what? I took her back here to my crib and clapped. I felt so, uh, Felt wrong because you know there's pictures of me and Val and all this other stuff. I put it away and so I ended up cheating. I just want like your advice on like what to do. Valentine, no. No. Should I tell her? I mean, if you tell her, if you tell her you cheated and she takes you back, then you can't trust her. So. Tell her. If y'all still cool afterwards. Can't trust her. 
So your recommendation is just to tell her? And then what if she's like not cool with it? Obviously she's not gonna be cool with it. Well, I mean, you're a YouTuber, so say as a prank. <laughs> what? So if she's cool with it, don't trust her. If she's not, you can trust her to tell her what to prank. Do I still be with her? Yeah. If she, but if she do, if she be like, oh, well, you know, and then a week later y'all get back together, then that means she's cheating. Damn, my mind just got f***ed off right there, bro. If you, if you tell a girl you cheat, and then she's okay with you cheating, you can't trust her, because why is she okay with it? Mm. Because she don't know what to do. Mm. Because she's not cool with it. She don't know what to do. She don't know what to do. She don't know what to do. But not, uh, I mean, going out to dinner is cool, but bringing a girl to your house is all people. So I'm a b****. I was just cold-hearted, man. Thanks. Imagine if you went to Arizona and she said her stomach hurt and she ain't gonna go. But she really had a nigga over there. Mm -hmm. It's cool to cheat in the car or at a nigga house or, you know what I'm saying? But it's your house? That I means every time she look at that coffee mug on the counter, she don't think about when a nigga had her on the coffee counter. That bitch all was fucking with All right, bro. Nah, bro. My advice, I just kill Kira, bro. Not Kira, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> All right, bro. See you later. <laughs> That's going to do it for this video. Comment down below. What would you do you cheated? Not saying you would, but I'm saying if you did, would you tell the other person it's the right thing to do to tell them? You know, what? I don't know, whatever. You know, there's there movies where like, oh, I got drunk and I ended up uh, sleeping with Cheryl or whatever. You know, those, like, like the rich dad was a cheater or some, you know, those move. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, Future Chino edit that out. What would you do? Comment down below. What would you do in that scenario? Either the, the if you cheated scenario or if you got, if you found out that your significant other was cheating. What would you do? What would you say? What would you do? Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Follow me over on Snapchat at Chino Alpha Wolf. Still doing giveaways. I actually just gave away three packages, hoodies and shirts and all that stuff. So if you guys want a chance to get some free 715 clothes, make sure you guys follow me over on Snapchat at Chino Alpha Wolf. I will see you in the next video. And remember, if you woke up today, bro, you already got the W. You feel me? Wolf gang.